Hi, hello, excellent slides here. We create excellent presentations. In this video, we will together design this full photo slide in just PowerPoint. All right, so let's get started. As usual, let's create any new slide and just delete this default text boxes, right? All right, so um, I think we will start with uh, um, this photo. So we have to, um, this is a photo that I took uh, from the pexels.com. That's a website where you can find some cool photos that you can use commercially and in your projects. So you will not break any law, etc. So yeah, let's control C this photo and control V to paste it right here. As you can see, this photo is uh, the size of the slide. So it's in the background, right? All right. Um, I think you, you are wondering how I created these kind of shapes. Um, that's, um, that is not really difficult because as you can see here, it's just a shadow. So um, in this shape, the photo is the same like this one. It's in the perfect position, but we can see this little stroke, right? So we have to just create an oval, perfect oval. So uh, go to the insert, shapes, choose this oval and now, yeah, choose this oval. And when you are clicking, I mean pressing your left key, just press shift. And as we can see, the proportions are blocked. Exactly, exactly how I want it to be. All right, so let's check the size. I think, I think it will be something like this one. All right, and now place it in the middle, exactly. And now it's a little advanced trick. You have to once more copy your photo. So Control C, Control V to paste it. As you can see now, we have two photos. So we have to this second photo that we have copied in a moment, we have to position it in the middle. So uh, go right here, align, align center and align middle perfectly. And now we have to select this photo that is above and as a second with shift or control key, this oval, exactly. Now go to the shape format and here you have merge shapes. So just select intersect. As you can see, nothing happened, but we have right here our photo, as you can see, but it's cropped to this kind of shape, right? To a half of the oval. So we have to select it, right click and format picture. Click here, fill and line. Uh, oh no, sorry. Actually, you have here shadow. And now we have to adjust the shadow. So, of course, you have here some presets, um, but usually they you will not be using them because it's a really more convenient way to do so. So, uh, here you change the color. So, for example, I would like a green, but I would like just a black one all right here size you have just the size of your size of your shadow usually usually it will be around 100 percent here blur it's um an important one because as you can see if i choose blur zero it's absolutely not blurred but for example blur 24 it's blurred so it looks better so let's say 30 uh, 
here you have angle so you can adjust it and here you have distance but in our situation distance will be zero and transparency let's say maybe 50 let's preview that yes i think that's that's cool all right perfect now we will maybe uh, create maybe this slight counter as you can see it's in the right top corner and it's i think it looks cool so i just created an oval of course change the color to this orange and position it in the right color right top corner yeah it might be difficult all right and right here yeah perfectly let's preview that i think it's much too big so so adjust the size let's um i think it's too big maybe something like i think that's that's cool all right and just this seven digit so we will just copy it Control c and Control v to paste it right here and as you can see i used lato font that is 18 of size and it's bold of course color is just pure white um yes i think that's cool and maybe we will now create this shape so as you can see that's really similar to this one and we will create it in this in the same way right so an oval with a shift because if you don't press your shift as you can see it's not i mean the proportions are not blocked just click shift and position it maybe yeah change a little bit the size i think something like this one let's preview that i'm um, actually not actually a little bit to the left yeah that's a perfect all right so yeah we have to copy and paste this photo so Control v Control, sorry Control c Control v let's place it in the middle so align align center and align middle select the photo as a first and as a second just this shape and go to the shape format merge shapes and as earlier intersect as you can see it nothing happens but we have this shape so we have to just add a black shadow so let's do so transparency i think maybe 40 blur of course about 30 and distance for zero let's preview that yes i think that's but earlier it's much bigger so yeah we have to yeah we have to undo this and make our oval significantly bigger so maybe something like that yeah i think that would be cool yeah and now just a stroke add a stroke please uh, i mean a shadow transparency maybe uh, 46 distance zero and of course blur for about 30 let's check it yeah it looks really cool and the last thing our text full photo slide in powerpoint so let's copy that Control c and Control v and as you can see in the original slide I wanted uh, this shape, this uh, area of this photo, to be above this text because if it would be under, as you can see, uh, let me, as you can see now, it it doesn't look really cool, right? Because if it's under this text, 
it looks, in my opinion, a little bit more appealing. Because, you know, look at that. Yeah, it looks cool, I think. So, in our situation, uh, let's create the same. So, right click on this oval and bring to front. But now we have to adjust this, uh, this text box. So, uh, to the left a little bit. Yeah, I think maybe like that. And to the top a little bit. Mm, yes, I think that's cool. And as the last thing, just our little rectangle. So, Control C, Control V to paste it. And of course, now we have to adjust the position. So, uh, let's place it. Maybe use arrows, arrow keys, because it will be more precise. Uh, let's preview that. I think a little bit to top. And I suppose it will look better. Yes, I think uh, this was a cool cool design. I think also, um, usually, of course, as you can see on this slide, it's not much of the information. Because I wanted to create just full photo slide, as you can see here. And you know, um, you, or for example, if you are presenting from something f for the audience, uh, and you have a, a kind of break or the end of the opening slide, usually you will be using uh, then full photo slides. But as I said before, usually you do not use slides where there is only a photo in the background and maybe a title. Usually you will be, you will have some information, uh, text boxes, etc, etc. So yeah, I think that's all about this video. Please like this tutorial if you liked the design. And also subscribe to our channel if you are passionate about PowerPoint and presentation design. Have a great day and lead a happy life. Excellent slides.